In wildfire country, preparation can mean the difference between devastation and survival. Cal Fire lit two nearly identical structures on fire, one built with fire-safe construction, the other left vulnerable. Fire crews simulated embers landing in the mulch beds and turned on fans to mimic 8 to 10 mile per hour winds. It didn't take long for the fire to find a path. When fire comes and in invades the community, what can you do? And what you see behind me is exactly that. One of these structures fully engulfed, and the other side that had just as much fire surrounding it is still standing. The unmitigated structure had wood siding, vinyl gutters, and flammable mulch right up to the wall, a recipe for disaster. On the uh, vulnerable structure, we had a vinyl gutter, and you saw it melt off and drop to the ground. And sometimes those gutters have uh, materials in them, vegetative debris, that can ignite de debris in it. And there we go with the uh, structure collapsing. Within 30 minutes, it was completely destroyed. But just feet away, the wildfire resilient home remained intact, thanks to five feet of defensible space and fire resistant materials, like the siding built with fiber cement board. The other one uh, still had plants, still uh, looks beautiful, but it has nothing combustible in that first five feet. It was hardscaped right around it, uh, had metal uh, furniture. A dramatic lesson in fire science and a powerful reminder that defensible space and home hardening can save property and lives. And this, we really hope, uh, is an eye-opener for San Diego County residents and all Californians of the steps they need to take uh, to be ready for wildfire. Cal Fire hopes this demonstration will inspire homeowners, especially those in older homes, to make critical upgrades before wildfire season hits its peak. Brian White, CBS 8.